Hey, welcome back once again. This is part three of the DJI Phantom 3 tip series. And I'm going to address the same issue as we did last time, which is the fact that the Phantom 3 standard does not come with a tablet mount from the factory. I showed you guys the budget version last time. This is going to be the more polished version now. So what you're going to need is I ordered this DJI Phantom. I'm sorry. This is a DJI Inspire 1 tablet mount replacement part. And it is part 45. For It's called the... DJI Inspire Part 45 mobile device holder is what it's called. You can get this on Amazon. That's where I ordered it from. I'll leave a link down there. Um, so what comes in the box with that is this tablet holder. And you may recognize this from the Phantom 4s, the Phantom 3 Advanced and Pros, or the DJI Inspire. Now the difference between the Phantom 3 Advanced and Pro and the Inspire and the 4, the Inspire and the 4 have a metal bracket here, whereas the Phantom 3 Advanced and Pros is plastic so that's why I went ahead and ordered the Inspire one. What this is going to allow us to do is open this thing all the way up to fit my full size iPad again or anything in between. You can flip out these little feet to fit a phone. <clears throat> so this is going to require a little bit of modifications to the controller. It also in the package with this comes this little screwdriver and that's going to be used to install this nut. So if you look right here this is going to screw in right there. That nut's going to go and thread through that hole, and that's going to lock it there. And we're going to have to drill a hole for this piece up top there. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Keep in mind, I already removed this tablet holder or phone holder. Other tools you're going to need is a drill with a drill bit. I'm using a 764 small drill bit to drill a pilot hole and a 732 drill bit to drill the final hole size. That's going to leave a hole just big enough that we're going to be able to force these threads in there into the plastic and it's going to create its own threads hopefully. Now I've heard this can be pretty tough so I have a pair of pliers here at the ready and I'm going to use this cloth if I need to putting in between the pair of pliers and making it so that I'm not going to damage that part. So without further ado let's get started guys. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to line up this Inspire 1 tablet mount right there on your lanyard holder. And you want to mark it with this flat tip screwdriver, making sure that you hold it straight. This is going to give us the point where we're going to drill. And we're marking in front because as it swings down there, it's going to line up better. So once you do that, it's time to take the back off of the controller. It's just a Phillips screwdriver and there's four screws on the back. I had to use a flat tip screwdriver here to kind of pry this open. And the back is a little bit tricky. Um, you have to pull down on the back once you get it loose to pull it out from this groove up top. You'll see better when it goes back together. But if you look under here, you see the inside, and here's this little group of wires which we need to move and they're glued down there. We need to move those wires so we don't drill through them. So be gentle, try not to damage them. It takes a little force to get them open. So I've got them loose here. So then we can go ahead and put the controller back together, making sure to kind of keep those out of the way. And at this point, we're going to get ready to drill with the 7 64ths drill bit, which is the smaller one. So I'll go ahead and line up, and we're going to drill through. Try not to push too hard, because you don't want to go through and hit those wires. There we go. Once we're through, you can go ahead and switch to the 7 32nds drill bit, which is twice as big. So this pilot hole is going to make it easier for us to drill that 7 32nds. So now what I'm doing, I'm go ahead and check that the wires aren't damaged here, and they're not. So let's go ahead and drill that 732nds drill bit through here. Again, being careful not to damage the wiring underneath. So now that we have our hole drilled, it's going to be time to start trying to thread this tablet mount into the remote. Again, check the wires, make sure they're okay. We're all good. 
You can see how the hole goes through and it would have hit them. So if you look, this little ring has threads and it spins freely. So you just insert that into the, into the hole and start pushing and threading. I speed this part up because it took me a minute. So once you get it started with your hands, I switch to the wrench because it was going to be easier to turn. And you can see I put the cloth there. I'm holding the other side of the bracket still with my left hand there. And you don't want to over tighten this because you will strip this out, it's just plastic. You just want to get it snug to where it's not going to move around. So once you get that here, I'm going to show you how to put the backpack on. This is that mechanism I was talking about. You can see there's a ring up top right by that antenna. You have to slide this nub underneath of that ring first and then everything else will fall into place and you can snap the clamshell back together. So there we go, let's go ahead and... that took me a little bit of force to get it on there. But once you get that lined up, you'll see that our little thread hole is perfectly lined up in the lanyard and we're pretty solid in there. So the last step of this part is to put that little screw in there with the provided screwdriver. So again, don't over tighten it, just snug it up. And again, put these four screws back in the back of the remote. And this is the last step guys, we're almost done. And there you have it. Looks almost like a DJI Inspire 1 or a Phantom 4 remote. And it's on there really sturdy. And it even looks good like it should be on there. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. Once we're done with that, you wind up with this right here, which is the... It looks a lot like an Inspire 1 or a Phantom 4 controller, doesn't it? So you can flip this up, boom, right there. Let's extend out the tablet mount. So now it'll fit my iPad Air very nicely. Let's get it in there. And this is as big as it goes. I'm not sure if it fits other iPads besides the Air series. There you go. It's on there. So I can just shake it around everywhere. It's super stable. Um, you can also flip those little feet out and put a phone in there, so you have the best of both worlds now. And you don't have that stupid thing flopping around off the edge. That's such a bad design, I don't know why they go with that. But if you have the budget, this is the way to go. I'll leave links to the stuff in the description. One more thing to mention about this is you lost your lanyard holder because you had to bolt that through there. But this has a hole in it, so I can take my lanyard still. The clip it right on there so we're still good I hope you guys are enjoying these videos if you are leave me a thumbs up leave a comment if you want me to do a tip about anything else or a review um, and don't forget to subscribe guys I, I'm really trying to build my subscriber base I'm looking forward to building it up as high as we can go let's get famous all right I'll see you guys later have a good day